Well, hi there. I am Black Bright News, um, broadcasting out of the UK into your home, reporting on Usman Khan, um, the terrorist who was shot dead by police. And I just wanted to make a little comparison before showing you this video. Now, the video I'm going to show you has profanities in it. So if you're tender hearted, you need to not watch the video because it's 10 minutes long and it's a rant about <clears throat> the prison system and the terrorist. So, um, but before I show you the video, I just wanted to tell you a little bit about the black people who were in jail for minor, minor offences, like, I don't know, petty, any petty crime. They're not allowing them out on day release. Day release is where you're allowed out for the day to find work or to go on training. They don't allow that to blacks, even though they've had petty crimes. Now, 3% of the UK population is black. And between 12 and 25% of that population, of that 3%, are behind bars in one form or the other. Um, percentage wise there's more blacks in prison in the UK than there is in America look how big America is and yet there are more blacks in UK prisons I'm saying this because of the bias of letting a terrorist out on the street but a guy that's just done some petty crime they're doing a disproportionate amount of time in jail um, more than half inmates held in prison are black, 51% in youth offending institutions, 42% in secure training centres. And when you think about all of those that are excluded are in special, um, special teaching kind of institutions, I'm surprised there are any blacks out there at all. Anyway, let me show you this person's rant. And he has spent time in America, I believe. I think he's living in America now. But I think um, he spent some time in England. I think. Anyway, you deduce from this video what you want. Like I said, it has some profanities in it, quite a lot. So if you are opposed to profanities, you need to switch this video off now. Okay. This guy was arrested in 2012 for planning to blow up. Planning to plant bombs in England and kill people. He's a religious extremist, and he believes that everyone in England deserves to die for not being Muslim. He was arrested in 2012 for one of the largest terror plots ever. Him along with six of his conspirators. As we speak now, four of those conspirators are on the streets. One is still in jail. Five got out. Four are still alive, and this guy's dead. So this guy got out. All his friends are out again. So 2012, he was sentenced to 24 years. That was reduced to eight years, and then he served six years. He got out on day release. I don't know what day release is, but it seems that everyone who goes to jail isn't in jail. He's out on day release and runs around with knives and kills people. Now, this is where a story gets interesting. Firstly, why are terrorists who have said they too want to kill us, after they finish jail, being allowed out back into the public, they've told us they want to kill us. Do you think that doing time in a British jail is going to somehow change your mindset and warm you to British culture? No. Oh, I've been, I've been in the I've been in jail for six years. Now I love England. They obviously still want to kill you. So why are these people not either imported or imprisoned for life? That's the first thing. But then we talk about imprisoned for life. Here's another interesting point. Of the three people I told you that I described that subdued this man, the three heroes, one of these heroes was a man who was jailed for mass, no, sorry, jailed for life in 2004 for murdering a girl and slitting her throat. So of the, the terrorists, of the three men, one of the men who's a hero has a fucking life sentence for slitting a woman's throat in 2003. He's not in jail. <laughs> no one's in jail. And he's on day release from his day, he's on day release from his open prison. He's on, what's day release? I thought if you, if you broke the law and you commit a crime and you went to jail, you had to stay in the jail. But in England, even if you're a terrorist or a, or a murderer with a life sentence, it seems you don't have to stay in jail. You can go out to enjoy the sunshine and bask. Oh, it's a 
there's no way out to do. Let me just walk through London. Okay. No one's in jail. So, that I'm sitting there and I'm looking at this shit. And I'm thinking, who the fuck is on the streets of London besides terrorists, murderers, fucking 15 year olds with knives? Like, who's left in England who's not fucked? People in London go, oh, it's not that bad. It clearly is. When you need your mass, when you need your psycho murderers with life sentences, when you have to let them out of jail to patrol the streets to, <laughs> to save you from the terrorists, which you didn't deport, doesn't that, isn't that the absolute pinnacle of a fucked up society? It is. And they go, oh, but the police keep us safe. No, the police will come afterwards. The police will come after the event. But that dude still managed to kill two people. And I say this, this is why I don't live in England. I don't live in England because if there's so many innocents in this story we're not discussing. The girl and the family of the girl who was killed by the guy who turned out to be a hero this time. If I was them, I'd be pissed. Yeah. The two people who got murdered by the fucking knife wielding guy, if that was my family, I'd be pissed. Too many innocent people are dying, and, and the authorities and the government are lucky that the innocent people are dying have pussy-ass families. You kill a family member of mine, I ain't letting you go on day release. And I ain't going to accept that, oh, the police came afterwards and, and shot him. Why is a fucking terrorist patrolling London anyway? Why is he on day release? Why is no one in jail? It is the worst sick country in the world. Anyone who lives in England, I lived in London for 10 years. I told everyone, I left. I don't live in England anymore. I won't even visit England. Hey, come for Christmas. No, I will not come. I don't trust the people on the streets. I don't know who yeah, my yeah, my point yeah, my point is exactly that. You do have people like that guy who's committed murder, and he's on the streets, and that terrorist guy, he's on the streets, and yet our young black men are held behind bars as though they're the biggest criminals alive. You can guarantee that none of our black boys. Our black British boys, our black Jamaican boys would be going out and doing stuff like that. And yet they've got them in there for years and years and years, disproportionately for the crimes that they've committed. And yet they allow these people out on day release. And that is my point. You know, I've got nothing more to say. And then Boris Johnson, apparently he's now going to prevent early early release. I don't know if it's early release for good behaviour. He's condemned early release of criminals. So who's going to suffer from that? It's the wrong people that suffer from these, you know, these reactionary um, tactics or reactionary legislation. It's just reactionary. And like I said, the damage has been done. That should not have been allowed to happen in the first place. You know, too many mistakes. And, you know, I just think it's really, really sad. And it's coming at a time just before elections. Just, you, you know, it's just very, very poor timing. It gives excuse for people to react. And people will react. You know, it's, it's not a nice thing to happen. But, you know, it should be... Um, the police should be accountable. I mean, what are the police saying about allowing him to come out? No wonder they had to kill him. You know, but the thing is, what I don't understand is they killed him. But what information did they get? They've still got three guys, according to that guy in the video, who are roaming the streets. Where are they? What are they doing? You know, I, to me, you would have taken that person in and then try to find out about the other three, not unless he thought it was a waste of time. They thought it was a waste of time and just thought, you know, why waste government money putting him inside again? I don't know. It's just it's just a very, very sad state of affairs all round. Me personally, I, I just don't like the bias. Don't like the way the prison system works to disadvantage black youths and black people generally. Don't like it at all. And that's all I've got to say. Bye-bye.